It's so funny to think about how far this game saga has actually come. And to consider that we've been down the road about maybe six games now. And here we are looking at the fifth one. Practically story-wise, you know, because one, two, three, four, five. But if we also count in Gears of War Judgment, I think that counts as six, technically. What is going on, guys? Quarantine coming at you with a little video rambling, excitement video, a little like pre video before the actual game comes out itself of Gears of War 5 hype. So today, I'm here just to talk to you simply about Gears of War. Let's get all hyped about it. Let's talk some awesome stuff about it, what it's done in time that it's been around, and so on and so forth. As you can see in the background, there is some gameplay from Gears of War 5 with the Sarah Connor and Terminator skins going on, only because I am the biggest Terminator fan um, in my entire group, in my family, I think. But uh, the fact is, I've been playing Gears of War for a really, really long time. When I first played the first game, I was scared. Not gonna lie, absolutely terrified for the fact that it was a whole new type of game. I was so used to colorful shooters, you know, Call of Duty, Halo, and stuff like that. Then my cousin actually got me into Gears of War, told me, hey, you should try out this game, it's really fun. And you, got, you get to rip people apart with a chainsaw and this stuff. I'm like, ooh, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, let me try it out. And I tried it with him, and it was fun for the first two missions. And he didn't let me play the rest of it because he wanted me to get the game myself. Now, the thing is, I was pretty young, so my parents wouldn't let me get the game just yet. But sure enough, they made an exception as long as I did what they said, and I did my chores like I was told, like a good little boy that I was. Good. Anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and just talk about the fact the first time I played Gears of War, the first one, the original first Gears of War, it was terrifying, it was exciting, adrenaline and rushing. Holy crap, that game was a lot of fun, it was just nothing but impressive, and I really just couldn't stop playing the game. I played the campaign about 16 times in the first like month that I had it, even though I already beat it the first day I got it. I just needed to keep playing the game. Also, if I'm gonna I'm gonna point out if the lighting changes in here, I do have my LED on, but for some reason in the camera it just like apparently sometimes it changes colors on my face, so I do apologize for that if that makes it a little annoying for you. But this is just simply a little video for all those Gears of War fans out there. So, yeah, that's pretty much my story about when I first started Gears of War, and then I heard Gears of War 2 was a thing, so I got on that, and then Gears of War 3 was a big thing back in 2000 and, I think, 12. I can't remember exactly what day it came I think it was 2013, actually. Uh, me and my friends played together, and it was a lot of fun. Then uh, an underground Gears of War spin-off game came out, which was Gears of War Judgment came out, and I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that it was a story about Damon Baird and before he was in Delta Squad, and I was like, oh, that sounds pretty cool, let me give it a try. And did I not know that that game was going to be so insanely fun that I was going to keep playing it even though people didn't like the game. And then I heard years later down the road that Coalition was not Epic Games anymore, that Rod Ferguson had made his own new company because Epic Games turned to Fortnite, and now two different types of games are being built at this moment by the same industry that helped create Gears of War. But Sure enough, Rod Ferguson was not going to let that game go, so he went ahead and made Coalition and decided to tell everyone, besides the fact that they were going to remaster the first game with new missions that were never in the game before, and I played the hell out of the remaster as soon as I heard that it was a thing, he also announced that there was going to be a Gears of War 4 game. Given when the game came out, I did not get it on the release date, so I was really upset. I had a really horrible paying job, so I couldn't even afford the thing. I'd actually got paid $20 a week, and it was absolutely terrible because I had to save that $20 as best as I could while also affording a really bad car, like the gas for a really bad car, and it was just a horrible mess that I thought I was never going to get the game. Luckily, I was smart, I got some extra money, and I went and bought that game and it was totally worth it. The game was perfect, the story was nothing but emotional dri emotion driven, and the character development was awesome with Kate and Dell and JD and Marcus becoming an old man. You get to hear, know more about the Cog War against the, um, the Insurrection. It was a really amazing game. The Horde mode was fun. The new characters that they put into the game were amazing. You know, the Carmine Brothers came back. They got all these different Cog soldiers. It's, it was an amazing game, Gears 4. Um, there were some problems that I wish that weren't in it, but you know, it was fine. 
the fact that the, the issues I am referring to is microtransactions. But you know what, I've gotten over to the point to where it's like, my transactions are going to be a thing, so why not just get on board, you know? Anywho, uh, now we're here, in the year 2019, and now we're at Gears of War 5. In which case, we got an insanely amount of cool things that this game is going to have. We got skins. We got a whole lot of skins. We got the Terminator skins. You could be a Terminator and Sarah Connor if you're on the if you're on the cog, you're Sarah Connor. If you're on the on the Swarm side, you are the Terminator. Then they decided to announce that Halo Reach was going to make a crossover with Kate and Emil, and I was like, "What? That's crazy! How, how many more things can these guys fit in there?" And then they announced that they're not just going to have campaign mode. They're not just going to have multiplayer mode. They're not just going to have horde. But they're going to have a new game called Escape, in which case you are playing as a small group, getting taken by snatchers into the swarm hive, mind, and you are setting a bomb in there to kill all the swarm, but in the same time you have to get out, otherwise you will be left there to die with the bomb that releases a harmful toxin that will kill you. That was absolutely crazy to hear that it's like we get more than what we bargained for the first time, and I cannot believe that it's happening this way. And then just recently, I heard that Dave Bautista was also going to be in the game. This is absolutely crazy. I couldn't be more happy with this game and how far it's come. The fact that I, when I went to a Comic-Con in Michigan, I actually met the voice actor, Carlos, um, uh, Carlos Badero, um, who voiced the, who voiced Dom uh, in the Gears of War games. And the guy was absolutely crazy. He was like insanely nice. He was down to earth. I even bought a cog tag for him to sign, and then I got the cog tag engraved with his initials in the back. You probably can't see him from that far away, but if you can see the outline to the cog tag, his name's right there. Here, let me try and get close to the camera for you. You can see that. There's his engravings right there. You got his uh, initials right here, and then the name Dom right down here, and that was really awesome. In the front, it's just simple cog uh, representation of what it stands for, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. Anywho. Uh, yep, I went to the Comic-Con dressed up as Carmine, uh, Gary Carmine from Gears of War 4. I brought my Grub Killer Lancer that I made by myself out of a Nerf gun, if you wanted to take a good look at this. Uh, made out of a Nerf gun, foam, car uh, cardboard, duct tape, electric tape, and a bunch of other things involving that. And we managed to manufacture our own Grub Killer Lancer, and this is the only, this is my first Lancer I've ever owned for a long time since I played the first Gears of War. I've always wanted my own Lancer. And I never thought the chance would come when I'd actually be able to make one, especially considering it's because of my friends, my friend John and my girlfriend, that we made this amazing thing, and here it is till this day. And I hang it up on the wall with my other Lancer, which was the Retro Lancer from Gears of War 3, also helped be made by me, John, and Brent. And now I'm looking at a snub pistol, which is right there, you I can't see it. Got the snub pistol. There's so much stuff for Gears of War that I didn't have before that I do have now, and I couldn't be more grateful. Not only in that, but when I bought the game, when, it came, when I first heard that it was announced for pre-order and the Terminator skin came out as the first thing that they announced as a DLC skin, I had to get on that. So I pre-ordered the game, and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to get the standard edition. This is Gears of War. This is the fifth edition to the Gears saga. I need to get the Ultimate Edition. Because I did get the Ultimate Edition for Mortal Kombat. And let me tell you one thing that both these games have in common. They're both getting Terminator, and that's amazing because of the new Terminator Dark Fate movie, which I'm absolutely hyped for. It is going to be insane. And then I heard something else. They are releasing a new Gears of War Lancer Mark II, and it looks beautiful. From the images and some people who got early access to buy one, it looks absolutely crazy. It makes this one look super small. And it's upsetting, but you know, I'll still love this. This is still always going to be my first baby. But I had to get my hands on that too. Little did I know that you couldn't pre order it like a normal thing that you usually could pre order $5 here, $10 there. You had to purchase it by pre order by a certain amount, in which case it was $75 to pre order to make sure that you were serious about buying this thing. As soon as I got more money, I pre ordered the entire thing. It's paid off, so now I'm going to get the game on Thursday and hopefully they got my Lancer by then and I'll get a Lancer too. I'm going to be going to that release date. Hopefully people that are going will, will be there because I really want to dress up as Carmine again with this in my hand and grabbing the game for the first time. But who knows? It could happen. It might not. But you know, it's just so crazy to think about uh, with how far Gears of War has come and I could be more grateful for this game. It changed my life for the better. And if anything, it opened my mind to new games. 
it helped uh, build up my game collection. It even drove me to get an Xbox One like Halo as well. Halo and Gears of War have always been my main two games next to Mortal Kombat. Three main games, Mortal Kombat, Halo, and Gears. But Gears and Halo stand at the top two. Halo being the first because it was the first for shooter I ever played. And then Gears of War being the second, being my first third person shooter I ever played with a nice story involved. So you can imagine how much this game means to me. And for it to have something that is equally important to me, the Terminator and Halo, all in one game, it's the game for me this year. It really is. So I hope you guys are excited as I am. Um, if you're wondering, one other thing, is this my gameplay? No, it's not. It's some gameplay that I found online. Um, hopefully I don't get copyrighted for it, but I just needed to show something because I couldn't find my gameplay yet. I have to go on my computer and get that. It will be uploaded onto the channel if you guys are wondering, because if you guys want to see how I did on the, on the alpha beta, I will definitely show you because I definitely want you guys to see how I did. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's just a little rambling video. I just wanted to show my appreciation to Gears of Coalition. You guys are doing a great job with the Gears series. Keep doing what you're doing, Coalition. You haven't been bad so far, so I have faith that you guys will continue making great games in the future in the Gears saga, of course. So thank you guys for watching. Are you guys excited for Gears 5? And better yet, what skin pack are you excited for? Terminator, Halo Reach crossover, or Dave Batista? Let me know in the comments below. And better yet, you guys want me to play, do some gameplay like I did with Gears 4? Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the video around. We are almost at 300 subscribers. By the end of next month or this month, I'd hope, we're going to be at 300 subs. It's crazy how many of you guys are actually showing up on this channel. And I appreciate you more than you think. So thank you guys for watching. hope you enjoyed. And we will see you all in the next video. Take care, guys.